In this video, we're going to look at sequence and interest. Now, a sequence is a number of events or things that come one after another in a particular order. So here we're going to look at an arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence. Now, an arithmetic sequence is where the difference between the consecutive terms is constant, whereas a geometric sequence is where the ratio between the terms is constant. So an arithmetic sequence could be expressed as follows. So we're going to write AS for arithmetic sequence. It's going to have its first term A1, and second term will be A1 plus D, D for difference. And then we're going to have A1 plus 2D because the difference is constant. So an ar arithmetic sequence could be expressed as A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Now let's look at geometric sequence. Here the ratio instead of difference is constant. So it's going to have its first term A1. Second term would be A1 times R. And third term will be A1 times R squared. So a geometric sequence can be expressed as a1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1. Next, we're going to look at interests. We have two different interests here, compound and simple. Now, a compound interest is where you add the interest amount into the principal amount in calculating the next year's interest, whereas in simple interest, you do not add the interest amount into the principal. So let's compare the two. So first, let's look at the case for compound interest. So let me write CI for compound interest. And let's call the principal amount A. Now, after one year, the total amount will be A, the principal amount, plus a times r over 100, the interest amount. So we get a times 1 plus r over 100. After two years, we're going to have a times 1 plus r over 100. This is from the equation above. And then we add the second year, so A plus 1 plus R over 100 times R over 100, because the interest is being compounded. So the end result is A times 1 plus R over 100 to the power of 2. So in other words, after N years, you're going to have A times 1 plus R over 100 raised to the power of N. Now let's look at simple interest. So SI, now we have principal amount A, and after one year, we'll get A times 1 plus R over 100, which is the same as CI. But after two years, we get A times 1 plus 2R over 100. So the final result, after N years, we'll get A times 1 plus NR over 100. So make sure you note the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest.